Hello, I'm Ellie, and today I'm going to be talking about the blood supply to the kidneys. In a previous tutorial, I covered the macroscopic anatomy of the kidneys. So if before we start today, you need to refresh your memory on that, you'll find it on Sutton Anatomy Hub. So in order to filter blood plasma, the kidneys receive approximately 25% of cardiac output. So here's the IVC, and here's the abdominal aorta, and here's a renal artery branching off the abdominal aorta, and here's a renal vein branching from the IVC. And it's important to note that the renal arteries arise just inferior to the superior mesenteric artery. So here I've drawn a cross section of the kidney, and here you can see the renal artery entering the kidney at the hilum, and the renal vein and ureter leaving the kidney at the hilum. So from here, the renal artery divides into five segmental branches. These segmental arteries are end arteries, meaning there's no effective anastomosis between them. Each segmental artery continues up in between the lobes to become interlobe arteries, which supply these renal lobes. A renal lobe is a portion of the kidney consisting of a renal pyramid and the renal cortex above it as indicated here. Interlobe arteries arc around to produce these arcuate arteries. These run along the corticomedullary junction at the base of the medullary pyramids in the shape of an arc, hence the name arcuate artery. These arcuate arteries produce the interlobular arteries, not to be confused, not to be confused with interlobe arteries. Here is a zoomed in version of a renal lobe. And here's the cortex and the medulla. And here's the interlobe artery, the arcuate artery, and the interlobular arteries. These interlobular arteries supply the glomerulus with blood via the afferent arterioles. The efferent arterioles then carry blood away from the glomerulus. If the glomerulus is closer to the medulla, then the efferent arterioles form the vasa recta, which drain to the interlobular vein. If the glomerulus is in the cortex, efferent arterioles form the peritubular capillaries, which also drain to the interlobular vein. From here, the interlobular vein drains to the arcuate vein, which then drains to the interlobar vein, which drains to the segmental veins, and then back to the renal vein. So just to summarize, we've got the renal artery, the segmental arteries, the interlobar arteries, the arcuate arteries, going to the interlobular arteries, also known as cortical radiate arteries, the afferent arteriole, the glomerulus, where filtration takes place, the efferent arteriole, the vasa recta, or the peritubular capillaries, draining to the interlobular vein, then the arcuate vein, the interlobar vein, and finally the renal vein. Of the substantia nigra that characterizes Parkinson's disease.